Hey guys, it's me, Sixshot217, with a model kit review of the um, Super Deformed Kobe no New Gundam from the Sound Gokuden model kit lineup. Um, this is his unarmored form. I don't know, they're going, I do not know, they're making a TV show version of um, the Kobe no New Gundam. Because this is the, um, because Bandai released um, two lines. This is like the first line, which um, was released before the show. Then there's the one that has the mall kits. It's pretty much just like the same mall kits, but like with new weapons and new stickers. And maybe some new armor to be accurate to the new anime, which I think it is a good anime. And I think you guys should check it out. But I am possibly might get a couple of the um of the sh of the shin versions I don't know but hey I I'm going with the original manga version cuz you know these ca those came with mangas so I am not going to go over articulation till I armored him up there's basically nothing with him all to him unarmored that's basically the gist of it when it comes to unarmored son goku and models I mean at the feet you do kind of have the symbols but Dude, my camera cannot focus. HD quality, my ass. Um, so you get a lot of armor pieces. Um, I think we should start with the waist piece. This is the crotch piece. I think you can keep it on, but, you know, I guess you want to keep that on because there's no detail. It's an ugly gap. <sighs> you stick that right in. Here's the backpack, which is very reminiscent of the new Gundams, minus the fin funnel. You, like most Son Gokens, there's two pegs right in there, two holes. You can put this on any other Son Gokuden model. But some of the other armor pieces cannot be interchangeable. Some, like the backpack and the helmet, helmet can. I don't know about the chest piece, maybe, but the shoulders, they're like a new design, exclusive to this. I don't really see other Son Gokuden models with that shoulder design. You do get this nice chest piece. Ah! And it, and it fits in very nicely. A lot better unlike the clear models. This armor fits on beautifully. Like, it fits on great. It's great how much it fits on. Um, you get two of these, I guess, arm, like, underarm armor. The one with the peg goes on the left arm to represent the spare beam saber that the new Gundam have ha had. And, um, you just stick the normal one right in there. And, uh, you have these four weird shoulder connection pieces. The ones that are supposed to go on the front is the one with the dragon design. You would know if you build this thing. So you put, the, put that on. Take one... Take a plain one that lines up with that and plug that in. Might have to, I might have to do this off camera. Give me a second. There. It's nicely in. Same thing on this side. Alright, and we need to get the shoulder pieces that have the big dragon fang facing, we need to have the big dragon fang facing backwards. Yeah, it goes that way, I think, yeah. Um, and bring this very familiar piece of piece, which is 
very reminiscent of the new Gundam's fin funnels. There you have it. He is all ready to go. So, um, articulation, his head could rotate a full 360 without all this armor, but, you know, if all this, hmm, wait, if you kind of force it, you, you can, but I don't really recommend it, because, you know, there's so much stuff, you could break something. Um, this arm has a perfect range of mobility and everything, you know, like the, that little upper shoulder joint and the wrist. This one can't really rotate due to the fin funnels. The waist does rotate. I don't really want to because, yet again, I might break something. The legs are on a ball joint, so, you know, they could you could pretty much do whatever you want with them. Same thing with the, with the feet. And the, and the foot has this weird joint for an extra gimmick I would show you in the other part. Where the feet go down. It's kind of useless. I mean, if it went up, I would understand, but goes down, it's, it's kind of useless. So, um, weapons, he comes with this very reminiscent beam saber. You put this on. Uh, yeah, it looks very much like the beam saber of the new Gundam. And, um, this is the golden sword that you just go, that goes right through the hand. And you take the red ribbon and you put it right there. And I have, am going to end the part right there, because my camera's about to die, but, um, this model's starting to get good. Let me tell you. The second part, you'll see how great it is. I will see you guys later.